one. Wild card game goes to your Houston Texans. 1913 win over the Cincinnati Bengals, and the scoreboard does not indicate how dominant this team was. Well over 20 minute time of possession advantage, uh, close to a 300 yard yardage advantage. Uh, just a, really a great performance by the Texans offensive line against a great Bengals front seven. And we thought that was going to be a problem coming into this game. You have to say, most of the Texans' offensive linemen won their battles today. They absolutely did. There are a few instances early in the game and very few after that. Foster ran the ball well enough, uh, leaned on him a lot late, and he had a huge workload. He touched him 40 times today, had a, a season high in receptions as well. Thank goodness they finally started looking for him in the passing game. Schaub made one pretty enormous mistake. That throw should have right here. Yeah, actually. that's right. where Leon Hall landed. Right over there. It never should have happened. Those are correctable. He didn't do it the rest of the game. It's something the last four weeks that's plagued him because he wasn't going through his progressions. He was making too quick decisions, bad decisions. Guys have been open for a month. He just was going to focus on Andre. He worked away from that today. Found Casey, found Graham. Owen Daniels had nine catches. This offense works better as a whole when everybody's getting involved. They were today, but it obviously, as our guys right after us on the big show would say, this game was won in the trenches. No question about it. Yeah, and the defense played outstanding, holding the Bengals to 0 for 9 on their first uh, nine third down opportunities. The pass rush was good enough, and the secondary had by far its best game in a long, long time. And while maybe some of that had to do with Andy Dalton not being particularly sharp, a lot of guys were covered. Even when the pass rush wasn't getting there, the secondary was doing a very good job covering the football. So I, I don't want to take anything away from what, the way the Texans played today, because I really think the Bengals defense didn't play that poorly. The Texans just kicked him in the mouth and executed, and while the Bengals' offense is not great, the Texans also played well. I don't think there's any doubt about that. One thing Daniel Manning said after the game was, this was good enough to beat the Bengals, this isn't good enough to beat the Patriots. And I'm sure he's right, the offense needs to put more points on the board. The defense probably needs to force something to happen. They made Dalton uncomfortable, and the way he played showed the interception from Jonathan Joseph probably had a little bit to do with A.J. Green kind of feeling out of sorts today, and he never really looked for the ball. Uh, they played it conservative on fourth down. They did not play it conservative at the end of the game on third and two when they called a pass play, which is exactly what I thought they should have done. Great catch by Graham. He got smashed in the head. Keep an eye on that during the week because he did already miss time with the concussion. He might have to go through might the have to Mark Brunner out of retirement. He might have to go through the protocol again, but they get an extra day. They'll be in New England. They'll leave a week from today to play them on Sunday. They've already made the final five because they play the last game of the week. Can we get a banner for that? Yeah, let's go ahead and try to win another game. I will say one more thing. It's possible the Texans didn't play their final game with these old, old scoreboards in it because they could end up back here if things go their way. Otherwise, get your one last final look at them. The Texans Otherwise, love no next it's year. monster trucks here at Reliance. One other thing, I can't wait to talk to the people in Cincinnati this week. We had some nice videos we made, and they were on us all week. You guys think, you guys think. Maybe we should do this again next year. Maybe you'll finally win a game on the road for the first time ever in the playoffs. Marvin Lewis, oh, and four in the postseason. Dalton, oh, and two here in Houston. Enjoy that. We're with you on Monday, 6 to 10.